is at nine. Don't be like Loki. We are here in the World Tree, Yggdrasil, and we have an exciting lineup tonight. Get down! And there goes Mighty Thor's hammer. He clearly <laughs> lost it again, but hopefully the giants don't get it. We have travel info back to Nine Realms for all you Thor seekers. Then we'll go live to Maria, who will be interviewing the three Locos Guardians. Stay tuned to find out who they are. After that, we have everyone's favorite, the report of last night's Valhalla battle. Around 9.45, Rapunzel will report the honorable and pitiful deaths from yesterday. Then at 10, we will close with the weather forecast. Now let's go to Victoria for travel info. I'm Victoria Montgomery. I'm here to tell you what to do if you're planning a trip in between the realms. I'm here in the world tree, Yggdrasil. Uh, the heart of the nine realms. If you're planning a, if you're traveling yeah, to Midgard, you might want to bring a mask. COVID-19 is still going on, and that's one thing we don't want to spread. If you still want to go, make sure you wash your hands often. Get down! Oh, that reminds me. If you're planning on traveling to Asgard, then be ready to look up a lot. The city is vast and beautiful as usual. In Vanaheim, please do not disturb the peace. You might want to bring a bunch of bug spray and a book. The sun is bright and it's always warm. Jonaheim, however, has frost giants. They can be quite moody and can be quite dumb. So do be careful. If you're headed to Niflheim, make sure you have a durable winter coat. It's always cold, but it does look splendorous. Some of the same yeah, rules apply to Miss Philem. Don't. Just don't go. You'll be burned alive. Also, it's the home of Surt, the one who aids in starting Ragnarok. Ragnarok, for those of you who don't know, is the end of the world for all you Vikings. Now, Alphalheim is absolutely beautiful and full of life. Those also have been taking great care of the place. They are also currently holding a festival to celebrate Frey, the god of peace, rain, and sunshine. Tonight, they are holding a great harvest and um, are... <coughs> Practicing strange magic that seems to have given some of them some randomly mixed animal parts. Well, on Nidalee, the dwarves are having a giant, <laughs> get it, giant, crafting contest, so I'd go down there and watch. Also, I would not go to Helm or Valhalla. Because that typically means that you died. That covers it. Now back to you, Alice. Maria to interview Tyr, the war god. Then she will interview Frey, the goddess of magic, fate, and motherhood. She is also married to the king of the gods, Odin. The last person on the list is Loki. You heard it right, the mischievous and evil Loki. <laughs> Asgard interviewing Tia. How are you doing today, Tia? Oh, well, to be honest, this is mischievous and evil Loki. <laughs> Asgard interviewing Tia. How are you doing today, Tia? Oh, well, to be honest, this is a rough point in Asgardian history. No one worships us like they used to. There's also severe, severe disgrace in human sacrifices. <laughs> well, you can't blame people for wanting to live. Well, anyway, it was nice meeting you. That it's a great story. One of Loki's children is Fenrir, a great and big dangerous wolf that I raised. Unfortunately, it got too violent and the gods tried to tie him up, but when they tied him up, he bit off my hand. Well, wolves are violent. Yes. Anyways, I have to interview Frigg now. Oh my, due to an unfortunate event, Frigg could not come today. Something about not wanting to reveal fate or something like that. Okay. We are now in Loki's cave. Hi Loki, how are you today? I'm well tied up at the moment. I don't know how much uh, time's left until. It's coming! That's nice. Action. Oh, look, Thor's hammer. You know, my kid had a joke on, and I was gonna kill him during Ragnarok. That's nice. Action. Yeah, I sure am proud of my second! Will you hold the bolt steady, or do you want another earthquake? Sorry, drama thing. Well, that's it for today. Back to the tree! We should explain why Loki was tied up, right? Yes, we should. You see, Frigg had a vision of her beloved son, Baldur, dying. Then she made everything, harmful or not, promise not to hurt him. However, she forgot to get the promise from Mistletoe. One night, the gods were partying and throwing things at the newly indestructible god, Baldur, when Loki had an idea. He was jealous and wanted to kill Baldur, but he also did not want to get caught. He knew that Frigg forgot about Mistletoe and crafted a poison mist mistletoe arrow. He gave it to Hod, a blind god, to throw up Baldur. When the arrow hit, Baldur died. This is basically to say, you can't prepare for everything. Don't worry, Loki was caught and tied down with acid dripping on his face. Every time the acid hits Loki's face, he thrashes around, and that's how earthquakes are made. 
Well, now let's go to Riley for the Valhalla battle. Last night, all of Odin's special warriors had their nightly battle to death in Valhalla. If you're new here, don't be worried. I'll explain what Valhalla is. Valhalla is the afterlife for those who died in a glorious, ba a glorious battle, a brave death. After they die, a Valkyrie, a, woman, a warrior woman on a Pegasus, brings their soul to Valhalla. The battle, they battle to the death every morning and get resurrected every night to prepare for Ragnarok. For the war in which they will probably be, they will probably be dead, and the world around them is destroyed. Anyway, last night a small group of warriors teamed up and went against everyone else. They were successful until there's only, only until they're the only ones left. Then the most unlikely thing happened: the great Alex Ferrero blew everything up, including himself. So technically, there was no victor from last night's battle, but you could argue that Alex won. If you do count that as a win, that means Alex has won several hundred. Duck! <laughs> Now to Rapunzel with the obituaries. Many people have died since yesterday, and I'm here to tell you who got into Valhalla. Kyle died bravely while in a car accident. Luckily, he happened to be holding a sword and now resides in Valhalla. Gerd, however, died from COVID-19 and is not in Valhalla. Embla was killed while walking down the street. She almost made it into Valhalla, except she had no weapon in hand. Hagdid and Bedorf died while trying to play Super Smash Bros. in real life. Both are now on Valhalla. Hammer! Almost forgot. Thor's hammer killed Holger, Olga, Gagna, and Sasa. None of them are in Valhalla. Finally, Sigrid died while sticking a fork in an outlet with the assistance of Sven, which apparently a fork classifies as a weapon, so they are in Valhalla. Now, Alice and Joey will close the show. Tomorrow is just like every other day, an absolutely perfect day. Thank you for watching. Well then, that would be Hamdel's horn. It does sound like that, so that means we all need to grab our swords and fight to the death. Ragnarok is upon us. <laughs> Oh my God.